Uh, Two Mega 64, do you feel as disappointed as I am with the transition? Oh, your question's gone. <laughs> the transition off the screen? Yeah, I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys typing so fiercely right now? Oh, and we so don't remember mad. your name. Sorry, dude. Uh, I remember your name. Oh, but it's Eric. Is he going to tell you? <laughs> okay. I'm, making, I'm making good progress here. Really cool. Yeah. Okay, two mega sixty four. Do you feel as disappointed as I am about the trans? Oh, oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it gone again. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I really do want to read this question. Oh shit, thank you. Gonna, I, I really do want to read this question. Two mega sixty four. Do you feel as disappointed as I am with the transition from practical to CGI effects? I feel like both have advanced enough over time to have good practicals. Well, that was worth it. Uh, <laughs> 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 you never asked it to be a thing. You decided it should be a thing. Uh, of course, we, I, I don't think anybody here prefers CGI to practical effects. I no, do. Nope. I don't. I do. I like Shrek. But <laughs> like, Pixar's good. I like how to, how to fight. You. And, you know, and I don't, hey, and I absolutely disagree with your second point where you think both have advanced enough to be good practicals. I assume you mean good practical, like to have good like practical mm. uses. Because uh, I don't think there's a good practical use for CG when four years later it looks like shit. Yeah. I think there's absolutely no practical use for but that. But there will be a time where it won't look like shit in four That's years. what I've been hearing for a decade. Hey, and I still don't believe it. You know, I watch. read today, probably on Reddit, I think, mm -hmm. that Watson, remember Watson? It used to be, it had to be like, the computer was so big it was the size mm -hmm. of a fucking bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now it's four pizza boxes on top of each other. Huh. So we're advancing, guys. We, we're doing I, it. I think we're all very aware that we're advancing. But have you seen, nope. uh, have you seen Avatar recently? Because uh, yeah, that's Avatar looked yeah. like shit to me when it came out. Yeah, so. and then so. we can watch movies made in the 70s that are used practical effects that look great. I'm really stoked, though. Everyone shut up. I'm really stoked about three new Avatar sequels that he's working on two, three, and four. Ooh, that's what God. I like. Hey, when somebody, everybody always says when he's working on the sequels, oh, what, is he doing two and three at the same time? No, it's two, three, and four. Avatar two, three, I, and four. Well, what? I. You, I I will not go see those. I the, do not now, care. No, but but I will say, and Derek and I talked about this, and I agree with him. I'll give him two. I'll watch two. I won't because care. this guy made two of the best sequels of all time. I'll give him Avatar hey, two. Hey, I'll go watch it. You just sold me on it. <laughs> really? But hey, hey, I have, because, I have to give because, him that. I have because to give him I that. wouldn't have seen it. Yeah. But that sentence. Yep. But I don't give a shit about the world. I don't care. About I, this I know. World. I, I yeah. understand. But damn. Sequels. I, like, he really did. Terminator Two is, isn't just. It, it's not just like the best sequel. That is so, like that's an incredible. And like when it comes movie. to Alien, uh, you know, I think my favorite is the first one probably. But you're not doing a sequel. It that guy had the task of making a sequel to that. Yeah, he did it the right way. He did it that he couldn't have done it better. You know, you can't replicate. The it's stuff a, it's that was a different movie. Yeah. A whole different genre. exactly. At, when Avatar Two comes out. 3D is going to be deader than a doornail, and I it already is. I cannot wait. Oh, so yeah, uh, we didn't talk about that, but oh, I don't know if yeah. you heard, but CES like last year, it was like oh, 4K TVs, and they've got all the features, this, that, whatever, 3D and 4K, and this and that, whatever. And then this year, all those models were here. You know, 4K is still being pushed, yeah. which I mean, that's the next thing. I, I, I understand, but I'm, but I'm okay with 4K. Yeah, 4K is awesome, but so, sorry, the, Rooster Teeth just put out a 4K video. Yeah, like yeah. an animated video. Yeah, right? Jordan just made a new Rooster Teeth animated adventure, and it's in 4K. Oh wow! <laughs> so, Good job, sorry, I mean interrupt. No, 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 no. But they are a ton of sets had 3D taken out. That was like, of course they fucking yeah. did. It's, it's a fad. It's done. Who cares? So I really can't wait. I want to hear. I remember James Cameron being at CES and then going. So I mean, is 3D in the home really gonna like take off? And he was like, "Well, it's almost a waste of time to answer that question because obviously it is." And uh, I mean, he literally said that. I, so I want to hear an interview with him right now. I can't yeah. think of a better example of like doomed to repeat history. I, <laughs> yeah. it, it doesn't. 3D didn't work. And they changed it up at how it looked. And then 3D didn't work. Yeah, and you know, well, it, I mean, the studios love 3D because they can charge way more money for the movie. You know, it, it's double the price yeah. to go see the fucking movie. So they love it, and that's why they push 3D so hard. But yeah, I just don't care 
about 3D. I did. I like Gravity. I think that's the only movie I liked in 3D. I did not like Gravity. There you go. Um, I was talking to... I, so I haven't put it up yet. I recorded a commentary for Tron Legacy yes. with Kevin. Mm -hmm. And I talked about that movie. That was a movie where uh, it's not like you missed out if you didn't see it in 3D. But I felt like 3D was a character of that movie. Uh, you know what I mean? And it was almost the Wizard of Oz effect. That movie, put your 3D glasses on. Okay, cool. Nothing's in 3D. What? Like, a ton of that movie isn't in 3D. It's yeah. all 2D until he enters the world and then it just whoo, exhales yeah. into. And then I felt, I, I just felt like that was part of the character of being in that world. And I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, I don't give a shit. Yeah, and you know, I. 3D being what it is in theaters, I just care even less at home. Yeah. Like, that to me is such a fucking process to put the glasses and put it on, make sure the lighting's right. Like, I'm not going to do any of that. I just want to, I want to lay there and not do anything. Um, I like it when they throw it in. I don't pursue 3D. Yeah. I got, like, again, the Tron Blu-ray yeah, had Disney that does, in there. They just throw it in. I got a Lion King Blu-ray, and it was like, oh, the, there's a 3D disc in here, too. Oh, badass. When I watched it, I put on the glasses. It looked cool. But I wouldn't have gone, oh, Lion King's out in 3D and gotten just that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. And the Hobbit. I have the Hobbit. It came with that, too. My eye, my eyes are sensitive. Like, I mean, I get headaches all the time. And so when I'm watching 3D, I will have to always go like this at some point and, like, try to, like, readjust. And, like, I lose the movie because I just, like, I have to get my head back in the game. Like, I, it just, it's kind of hard on my eyes. Hmm. Like, my 3DS has never been on 3D. I do not really? ever use the 3D in my 3DS. It's always off. But how do you explain that the Mega 64 Blu-ray goes on sale in two hours? But the good news is it's not in 3D. So oh, that's a good point. But it is it's not in 3D on Blu-ray. It is on Blu-ray, and it was beautiful. We'll get all these. I'm gonna throw Tur these in the trash. Some TVs do faux 3D, where you can make it. So try it on ours. <laughs> it works. Oh. Shit, this one's yours. Oh no, lucky you. It looks beautiful. Hey, I want everyone. If you do not yet own the Blu-ray, put one in the chat. <laughs> I am curious, actually. I feel like uh, I mean you're I about, feel you're about to see a lot of 69s and 420s. I'm just letting you know. Well, I, that's why I did it. Okay, cool. Thanks to those cool numbers. That's awesome. Yeah, those are cool numbers. <laughs> yeah, I did it the coolest. <laughs> Thirteen is up there too. Um, I was gonna say real quick about 3D and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, they asked Peter Jackson. They were like, "Dude, you're doing this in 3D and you're doing that high frame rate thing." And yeah. You, you never saw that, nice. right? There's oh yeah, because you would have seen the Hobbit. Yep. But um. But uh, he did the high frame rate thing, which was in, an interesting experiment. He achieved, he wanted to have a thing where it looked like, I wanted it to just look like a window into it. And he achieved that. I can't tell you if I like it. It's not even that I don't like it. I don't prefer that. I'll definitely tell you that. I think that would be awesome. Hey, if I could go to the movie theater and watch a sports game like that, it would have been great. But it's not. It's sure. Lord of the Rings, so it's like... Wow, I'm really looking at costumes here. You know, it's and it's weird. But whatever. He did an experiment. But anyway, they asked him. They were like, so is this... I mean, are you saying this is how movies are supposed to be now? Is this what you're saying? Is this what you're saying? But I did like his response. He was like, you know, no. I don't think this is how sh movies should be. I never said that. I just wanted to give a reason for you to go to the theater and go and check it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, in, we're, we live in a time where every, you could watch The Hobbit on your iPad... I just wanted to give you something to go, oh, I heard that he's doing this. Let's go here and see yeah. it. You know, he's like, and that was fun for me. Like, I wanted to try well, something when different. When I thought they were so 48, cool. I was like, oh, yeah. so they're just doing it so they can have 24 and 48. I don't care. That's fine. Yeah. As long as I can see it the way I want to see it, do yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have him black and white and upside down for all I care. Yeah. yeah. I, he, hey, he had both of it. And that's why, you know, a lot of those cameras that they got to do those frame rates and stuff actually shot at 60. He purposely made right. them 48 so that you could cut it in half and show both. Right. Yeah. And I think that was, I, yeah, I like that. If he had only put it in the high frame rate, now, of course, James Cameron is talking about only doing it in the high frame rate. Of course rate. he is. So He's going to change the world, James Cameron. He, and he's saying, fuck 48, he's going 60. I knew it. Hey, but Mega 64 Blu-ray. <gasps> it's a Blu-ray. 